And e-text is kind of a combination of what the textbook used to be and what lecture used to be. Faculty have, in the past, written things that were then photocopied usually, and it had all the constraints of photocopy, so it was mainly text and black and white images. But now we have those constraints completely lifted. Putting it all together into one ebook is a way of eliminating the need for a traditional print textbook. All kinds of material that really brings the, the subject matter to life in a very real-time way, things that are happening now. Now, there's sort of a, a distinction between the content. That's the stuff that you would write on a word processor, you would gather with your camera, and containers. So content versus containers. Right now, we're sort of pushing three different containers. One container is iBooks Author. Now with an iBook, you're able to incorporate interactive elements, which then now introduces you to widgets, which is new to me and didn't take that much to learn, but it's a new process which adds interactive elements for the students to access. It makes it a little more interesting than just the traditional page. I think with the iBook yeah. that it really is more than a book. It's a multimedia tool and you can head out in different directions. You can have your own content, your own photographs, the interactive exercises, and bring it all together in one space so that students can engage in the content in multiple ways. Another container is soft chalk and that allows you to put a book kind of up as a web page. The confocal microscopy e-text lets students learn information about the microscope without actually having to be in the room with it. And it really prepares them nicely for when they actually do come in to sit down with the instrument. And then the third one is just a PDF. But PDFs now are more than you might think they are. What I did in creating this ebook was I took a series of existing material that I've been using over the past nine or ten years teaching this visual communication course and inserted all kinds of access to other internet sources, uh, whether it's websites, blogs, podcasts. I think technology is changing faster and faster in academics. And so what has to happen is you have to treat all of these things as opportunities that you might want to take and you might want to spend your resources on and try to embrace what you can that will really impress your students and engage your students and make you an effective teacher for this generation that's really born digital.